just realized what that sound was. Okay. This is the computer that my boys, they literally got it soaked and then dropped it. So the battery is no good and the hard drive is dead. So what I'm going to do to show you the utility of the CD3WD project and the KTD thumb drive if I had fingernails this would be a lot easier I don't think I even had the back of this thing off ever since we got it Ooh, see you can see where the water damage is Some computers, if you remove the hard drive like this, you have to put the cover back in place. You can see there's metal here. Some computers actually uh, have to have a complete circuit. And if that cover is not in place, it does not have a complete circuit. And there's the hard drive. If there's no complete circuit, the system will not boot. And since I'm seeing this metal strip right here, I'm thinking this one is one of those where it won't boot without this in place. So if you do come upon a computer that you pull the drive out of and it's you know it won't boot, make sure you have the bat the hard drive cover door in place. Now, no battery. Like I said, you can see water damage. I don't know if you can see it too well in the camera. But we do have power. Okay. Power lock came on. Now, this is a drive that I... T I've got several drives like this. But we'll do this. Now, before I turn this on, I'm going to move the camera around. So I'll stop it, and then I'll restart it when I move the camera. Okay, it's recording. Now, we'll turn it on. This one is already set up to boot from the uh, thumb drive. I already changed the operating system. I've got another one that I have not even done anything with. As soon as I get it out of the closet, I will set it up. Normally, you'll get a screen that will come up and it will say how large do you want to do permanence which basically means it will save your settings that anything you change in Nopix will be saved I set this one up for one gigabyte to be used to save any settings that I need otherwise if you don't set the permanence every time you turn the computer off you lose everything so you have to be sure on what you're doing I set this one up so my boys can play with it. So I have the network password and everything set up. Okay. Now this one, let me shift the camera around so you can get a better look at the screen. Whoop, wrongs function. I have several ham programs in here right now. But I'll go up here to the Nopix. Okay. And then I will click on preparedness. And there are the CD3 WD files. Now let's go down. And I'm going to tell it to 
open start.html. with Ice Weasel. Um, okay, click here. And there are all my files. Now, it's taken me longer to explain this than it would normally take for me to put this thumb drive in, boot the system, and then get into these files. I mean, I have had this thing up and running in less than a minute and a half where I'm getting into these files. You can actually set up a uh, link directly on the uh, desktop that will automatically open these files for you so you just click on it and it will open them automatically so you come straight to them. And like I said, this is the CD3WD files. This is not the extra files that I put together. Uh, they are not in this currently. I haven't added them. I'm still working on a few things uh, specifically for our, my personal family situation. But that is this computer. And like I said, you saw me. I pulled out the battery. I pulled out the hard drive. And it's up. It's running. And I'm on the Internet. You know, if you have a, uh, ham, if you're a ham radio operator, there are ham radio programs available that you can install that will, that's my son washing out a dish over there. Uh, so you'll have the ability to uh, use your ham radios. Here's the configuration wizard for it. I'm not going to configure it right now because I don't have this hooked into my radio. Uh, But you can get this configured for packet, MFSK, MFSK, PSK, and others that, uh, you know, for communications. And, you know, in an emergency situation, this right here might be able to help save yours or your family's lives or other people's lives. You know, if you're a ham radio operator, this could really help you. Uh, even if you're not a ham radio operator, you don't need the uh, files per se. Uh, you know the ham radio files but the other files the CD3WD files can help save you and your family's lives and I will go ahead and shut this down and I oh I was watching a movie on this earlier actually I put a DVD in and I watched a DVD I uh, just had to download the VLC uh, video viewer pack uh, files and install them. My boys are trying to be quiet while I do this. They're they're normally pretty good at it. And the system's down and thumb drives out. Caps on. There it goes. Unplug it and like I said, no battery. No hard drive. Now, if I didn't have this power supply, uh, I'm not sure on this particular computer which one of these uh, can we even see those plugs down in there. Am I even looking? Okay. Right here, this is where the battery contacts are. You don't need to solder, but a couple of uh, connectors and some wire. The battery provides 10 volts, and let's see, yeah, the battery is 10.8 volts. If you can get uh, nine, you know, 11 volts to it, you know, an old car battery that's you know decently charged. Uh, as long as you're careful. You know, I don't think you'd need a line conditioner, but you might want to look in. You know, might want to get one, but you might be able to run this straight off a car battery. I don't know how long it would run, but like I said, I don't know on that. But the you've got the positive, the negative, and the other ones are for regulating uh, the charge. You know, what what one senses the state of charge, another one 
determines the temperature of the battery and you know, all, all those very but I'm I think I'm not entirely certain that these first two right here since they are larger than all the others are the positive and negative connections um, if all you have is positive and negative connection you know and you've got a halfway decently charged car battery you know I'm saying it's only it's down you know eleven and a half something volts well it could probably run this for several hours minimum um, every laptop though is different with their battery with their power supplies each one has you know they're not all the same so I you I couldn't tell you yes you can or no you can't I, I don't know but it is possible you just have to you know work with it a little bit 